Hey all, a YouTuber by the name of Dave Lewis, who enjoyed my last video, uh, recommended that I might do some uh, like kind of more beginner level tutorials for the Volca drum. Um, for this one, I'm going to just be showing new users how to step sequence a new sequence of 16 notes uh, using a custom drum set that I have set up. And then I'm also going to show for the more advanced users later in the video uh, how to load kit, save kit, load program, save program, and how to chain programs. Uh, so the first thing I've got set, uh, to show you guys is uh, just what this kit sounds like. So this kit I have, if I hold function and load kit, you'll see that the number six on the sequencer is flashing now. That is because number six is the kit that I have decided to load. I have previously loaded this with some interesting sounds, which I will play right now. Those last couple are obviously the most interesting. The first four are kind of stock sounds, to be honest. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show uh, how you can get a couple different interesting sounds in there and how they work in a sequence. So this kit we're gonna be using the entire time. Uh, in order to save this kit, we will hold function, hit save kit. You'll notice that the six is still flashing because we're still on kit number six. We're gonna hit six again. You'll notice that it flashes again to indicate that the saving has been done, hooray. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is uh, how the step sequencer works a little bit. So if I hold function and I hit part one here and I hit edit step, it'll show you all the uh, steps for that part that are active in this current sequence. If I hit edit step again and disengage the edit step uh, or the step sequencing aspect of this and we hit part number two, we can do the same thing, hit edit step and it'll show the ones that are active. Same thing goes for all of those, so obviously I'm not gonna go through them all, but we'll listen to how it sounds real quick. Okay, so that is our sequence uh, that we're going to be playing with a little bit here. So first things first, how to just show you how show you guys how to um, just add a couple extra notes in here. So let's listen to uh, part number three in isolation. So if we hit mute and we mute everything but part number three, we will only hear the steps that are highlighted right now. Wonderful. Okay, so if we want to, we can make every single step of this part active for a nice uh, snare roll or something like that uh, leading up to a uh, more explosive sound obviously uh, we'll just get rid of a few of these and that kind of ruined my program there but that's okay it didn't really matter anyway to be honest so let's listen to how that sounds now and we'll bring the others back in okay cool so now we have basically a sequence. Uh, it's not the best sequence, but it is mine. Uh, so we want to save the sequence, and in order to do that, we're going to uh, use the function key and hit save program. So a sequence is just the notes that are present with the kit that's currently present. Uh, the program is the notes that are currently present with the kit that's currently present and a bunch of motion control if you want to do that. I'm not gonna go into that in this video because that's a little bit intense. Um, so we're just gonna do function save program and you'll also notice that the number six is flashing. It's different than the kit. This is a program, like I just mentioned, so we're also going to save the program. Um, now, let's talk about quickly uh, loading programs. So the Korg Volca drum has a bunch of different programs set in here. If I hit, if I hold function and hit load program, I can load like any of them right here. See this? You'll see them flashing once I hit them. Uh, I, I believe that I still have whatever was on 11. Hopefully I do. Nope, 11 is completely empty. Okay, so yeah, I've messed with this a little bit, so 11 is a completely fresh one, but as you can see, that did in fact load the program number 11, which is completely empty, like you just saw. So we're gonna go ahead and load six again. You hold function to stop the loading function of this um, aspect of the Volca drum. That is important to know in case you want to chain programs, which is what we're getting, getting going to get into now. Uh, if you hold the function button and you hit load program again and you access the load program screen, this was shown in the in the um, Cuckoo Mega tutorial, but it's interesting to see kind of happen in action. So if I hold six, I can go between anything right now. So I, I can go between any of these um, programs. However, there is like kind of a multi-touch thing going on. So see how now six and seven are both active. You can chain any program that's in sequence with any of the adjacent ones, you know, all the way down. You can't you can't chain like five and seven 
only five and seven, you'd have to do five, six, and seven, for instance. But that's okay, because we're going to use six and seven. Now that six and seven are flashing, we will hit function to disengage. We will hit the play button, and we will hear both programs six and seven in sequence. You'll notice that after the first sequence goes through, a different sounding sequence will show up. It does have the same drum kit, though, so the same general sound will be the same, but you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hear that? It had kind of a four to the floor kind of note uh, to the second program that was in there. So you can chain up to 16 programs. I believe you can change kits between programs, but for some reason I didn't do my research on that before making this video. So that is the next thing that I'm going to try, and I will post about that at some point. Any questions, please post them in the comments. Cheers, guys, and thanks again, Dave, for suggesting I do these.